G'day everyone, we are back once again for some more Saw. Today I am once again joined by my little sister Erin, who today's a very special day for you, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What day is it? My birthday. There we go. Today is her 14th birthday, and to celebrate, we are watching Saw 5. Continuing on from our series of her first viewings of each Saw film, this is the halfway mark. After this, we've only got Saw 6, Saw 3D, the final chapter, Jigsaw, and Spiral. But, are you excited to watch this on your birthday, the midpoint of the series? Yeah, but I'm also very nervous. But either way, I I'm excited to- well, <laughs> so I'm <just> nervous so far. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not one of my favourites, but I'm hoping you enjoy it a little more than I do. Because I know there are fans of this movie out there who genuinely love this movie, and that's completely fine. Not everyone has to agree with me, and that's cool. But either way, we're here to watch Saw 5, so let's stop wasting time. Let's watch Saw 5 for her birthday. Let's get into it. I am very excited for you to see some of the traps in this movie, by the way. Some of the traps in this are pretty damn cool. And I'm excited for you to see... <laughs> this opening one in particular is quite a doozy. Make your choice. He has to crush his hands in the vices. Otherwise, the pendulum will cut him in half. You know the pendulums from Scooby-Doo? Uh-huh. It's one of those. Uh -huh. <laughs> I forgot you don't like the slow breaking bones. <laughs> this is fun. Secret doorway. Ninja kick! This is just getting ridiculous though. This is when the franchise starts to become comical because how the fuck did Jigsaw know that he was going to die and that Strom was going to come in and that he could leave a tape recorder for Strom there? Like just, just fucking how? How the fuck? What the bloody hell is that? Does it get rid of his air supply or something? No, you'll see. He obviously doesn't die because he's still in the sixth movie, isn't he? Mmm, I'm not spoiling shit. The amount of people saying, Oh, just drink the water! Rip the tubes out! He can't fucking reach the tubes due to the fucking width of the box and his shoulders being restricted. He can't reach. Have you ever tried drinking that much water? Has anyone ever heard of electrolytes? Never go. God, VHS tapes. Who remembers VHS tapes? I do. We've got one out in the garage. Mm, we do too. For the sounding music. Just so you know, we will not find out what's inside that box until the next movie. <laughs> so, Barbara! How'd you walk out of that building? How did you? On a gurney with a fucking hole in my throat. <laughs> I've always loved that response. Welcome to our game of Saw 5. The Fatal 5. I'm not even kidding, the, this test is usually regarded as the test of the Fatal 5. That's sad. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Unless you want your head to pop off like a dandelion. How do you know that? He's from Jane the Virgin. Never seen it. Not, probably not your cup of tea. Well, their timer has started and they are being selfish little pricks. He could at least share it with them. He could at least help her get her key by smashing the box and helping her out. Why do you look up Seth Watts, the last name? Seth Baxter. Yeah, why do you look up Seth Baxter? This is why. <gasps> Detective Slane's sister laid to rest. That mystery woman that we saw the photograph of? That was his sister. Mm-hmm. Boyfriend kills detective sister. Seth Baxter, the guy at the beginning of the movie... Was Hoffman's sister. Was Hoffman's sister's, sister's boyfriend. boyfriend. Motive. Dead woman worked for the fire department. Not anymore. She got canned a month ago. How the fuck do you... How the fuck do you know that? You're responsible He's a personal the investigator. I'm closing the door. I'm gonna he, close the he investigate, like, 
Isn't there a job out there where someone investigates... A PI. Yeah, PI. Where they investigate people. I mean, if they'd taken notice... If they'd paid attention, they would have noticed the jars above them and that they probably should be smashed. So they should have left the door open so the nail bomb could have exploded them all. Not necessarily. They could have, rather than talking, just smashed all the jars already. Better luck next time, rich boy. Survival of the fittest, my era. Know what they could have done, though? What? Had two people in one hole? Ding, 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 we have a winner. Wait. Good night. You think he survived? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I find it somewhat distasteful. Rewatching this now, I realize that Jigsaw would not like the copycat in Spiral. Especially in inferior work. Oops. You didn't see what he fucking did to her? Killing is distasteful. To me. Tim Bell's such a good fucking actor. I just wish besides the Saw movies, he was in better films. <laughs> it's your duty to bring me in. I love this scene so much. I really do. It's my favorite scene in this entire film. Is it made so only one person walks out alive? I don't know, is it? Yum. Looks like SpaghettiOs. Just stick the pipe through his head. Double tap. When you're not sure the undead are really dead dead, one more clean shot to the head can be the difference between survival and you becoming a human happy meal. Zombie land. Yes. Yeah, well that rule kind of disappeared during the second movie. It became just tap until he's dead. With the T-100, uh, T-1000s, yeah. All of those movies. What, Terminator or Zombie Land? Zombie Land. I love Zombie Land as well. Both of them are very good movies. Yeah. Terminator's great too. Haven't seen Terminator. I'll have to show them to you one day. Yeah. First two are great. I've always hated it in the Saw movies though, how whenever we see a pig mask um, character, we hear a pig noise. I've always thought it's really dumb and makes no sense, but I tend not to question it too much. Notice how he pointed the gun at uh, Gus's head first. No, because he knew he was going to be the first to die. Not necessarily, but it's just a cool little hint. Also, they're not wearing gloves! Fingerprints! And now we're up to our next trap of oh, the movie tetanus after... Bath. You win fucking tetanus. <laughs> after f waiting fucking forever for another trap, oh finally had another one. Look, I can watch this movie as a part of a marathon, but out of all the Saw movies, this is the one I'm least likely to watch in my own time. I can watch Saw 3D, no matter how bad it is, in my opinion. It's easily the worst out of the entire series. But it's at least enjoyably stupid. This movie, on the other hand, I find... just... undeniably boring. It's shorter... It's shorter than Saw 3, but feels longer. Gotta stay. Gotta clamp it on. That's two. Three. Four. One more. <laughs> Is he using a shoelace? For the fucking mask? That's a fucking shoelace. Huh. <laughs> I have a feeling by the end of these viewings in these movies, you're gonna basically just be desensitized to any violence whatsoever. Thinking, arm is supposed to go in there to fill the beaker. Again, find something like a shoe, stick it in the hole, Why can't we just use the open it up, the and then whip your dick out and piss in it. What the fuck was that? <laughs> He knew Strom would be following him. 
How do you know that? Well, he's got his phone. He knew they would probably start tracking it, and he somehow probably knew that Stram was going to follow him because he knew Stram was catching on to him. So he knew that Stram would be the easier one to frame. Mm-hmm. Very clever. Very good. So Stram's walked himself into a <coughs> trap. You're a trap. And I got caught, but I made a deal, and my dad got me off. Title of your sex tape. <laughs> God, this is one of my favorite traps in the entire series. <gasps> yes. 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 <laughs> Could you imagine doing this to yourself, though? They're basically sawing their arms in half. Not basically doing it, they are. Hello, Agent Strong. If you are hearing this, then you have once again found what you are looking for. Just not even hiding his identity anymore. He's like, okay, where are you, mate? I would have just grabbed the tape, ran out of there, been like, I got the evidence! He was playing him. He wanted him to think he was winning. When he knew straight away that he wasn't. Have you learned enough to trust me? Will you heed my warning? For if you do not, fuck you. This room will forever be your tomb, and my legacy will become yours. If you're good yeah. at it. I know what this trap is. What is it, Erickson? So, so when you told me about just before we started watching these movies, Peter room would close and they had a prosthetic arm yeah, for the sure. shot. No, the bone! <laughs> the coffin's gonna go through the ground and the only way to survive was to be in the coffin. <laughs> it wouldn't have been as painful if he hadn't had his arm there because he all would have he would have just squished in all at once. It still would have been painful. But he wouldn't have had to deal with the pain for as long. What did you think? I enjoyed it, actually. You enjoyed it? Uh-huh. Okay, let's discuss. So, what was it that you actually enjoyed about Saw 5? The mystery and how it always, how it still gave you the chance to actually try and solve it yourself. But it was pretty obvious from the beginning. Yes, but it gave you the opportunity to, like, solve each mystery for each trap on how each trap... Each person can survive each trap. It's all pretty obvious. Trap number one, with not Seth Baxter's, but the one with the Fatal Five, with the, you know, decapitation collars. Why doesn't one person grab three keys? So you've got the five people, right? The one in the middle of the three and the left. They go forward, grab their key, the one on the right and the one on the left. Then you go over to the other two people after they've got the three keys. Then they grab the two. Don't be selfish and go one by one, or if you are going one by one, immediately run back, giving enough time for the other person to go forward. Mm. When it comes to the trap for the, uh, what is it, the, ex what is it, the, so what are they, the glass jars and everything with the little keys. More than one person could fit in each one. When it came to the one with the bathtub, why not use wet fabric? Still conducts electricity. And at the same time with the final one with the 10 pints of sacrifice, why not grab, if there's not 10 people and you have, I mean five people and you have killed that girl in the last room in the bathtub, why not grab the girl who was in the bathtub and use her body parts? I am stuck on Seth Baxter's trap and um, that final trap though, that, that I have no fucking clue. But what would you give Saw 5 out of 5? Four. You'd give Saw 5 a 4? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. I enjoyed it. It felt more fast paced than the last one. Okay. I don't agree in the slightest, but okay. Mm -hmm. no, that, that's fine. That's fine. I gave it like a D, but you know. But either way, guys, thank you so much for joining us for my sister's reaction to Saw 5, which we recorded today. It's her birthday. So happy birthday to you, little dickhead. Um, and yeah, I don't know when this video will be up as I've got a busy couple weeks ahead of me. But at the same time, thank you guys so much. Happy birthday to this fuckwit. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Do be sure to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Twitch. Watch my live streams and keep updated with your content. Come into the channel. Do be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new videos are up every single week. Do be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Blech.